Welcome back, gang. It's Delta from Deltia's Gaming Housings, finally here on the public test server, and we're here to show them off to you in ESO Cribs Part 1, and we're going over the free houses. So what you need to know about this is there's three specific houses you can get for free just by doing an initial starter quest. How do you get started doing this? Well, each zone's banker, your main banker, so DC is in Glenumbra, Vocal Guard for AD, and then uh, Davin's Watch for EP. You go into the bank there, there's a quest where you're gonna get a quest giver. You gotta do a couple simple things. Go down to the Ledgerment area right around the same bank where you got it. You're gonna talk to some guy, get some stuff, go talk to a couple more guys, do some stuff and some delves, come back, get some furnishings, and basically just introduce you to the entire concept of housing. Once you do that, you're going to get granted a deed which will allow you to visit the houses that you own. Then you can start decorating, crafting furniture, and do all the fun stuff that there is to do in houses. Just remember, these are starter houses and they ain't big. So let's check them out. Before we get started, I want to tell you the top five things to be aware of regarding housing. One, houses are account bound, not character bound. So you can buy them on a character, use them on another character, regardless of faction. Two, you can transit there for easy access and you can preview every single house. Three, you can set guests as well as set guild permissions, which I'll go into greater detail in later videos. Four, sadly, this is not an extra bank spot and treasure chests and things like that are just for decorative and you cannot store stuff in your house. Lastly, this can be purchased with in-game gold or crowns. So we don't know the crown prices as of yet, but I will list the prices of the houses in further videos. Let's get started showing the love shacks. The first small little love shack we have is the Rosie Lion and Daggerfall Covenant Glen Umbra starter area, just a little bit north, right by the Way Shrine. This thing is very small, looks very similar to the rest of them, just the art style is a little different based on Daggerfall. So yeah, about enough room for, well, a bed. Next little lovely shack we have is in the Ebonheart Pact area. So Stone Falls and then right there in Ebonheart, right in the heart of things. And guess what? It's not very big, but you can stack a lot of crap in there, especially if you've ever been in the military. You can always stuff a little bit more in the duffel bag. So here you go. Same art style, but yeah, very quaint. Last and most certainly least in the AD area, Vocal Guard is Mara's Kiss Public House. It's very public because it's very big. As you can see, by far the smallest. Maybe a room for a lamp, uh, a bed, and that's about it. Oh, but we are far from done as we're here in the Ebonheart Chateau, one of the lovely manors for 3.7 million gold. Stay with me as I go through each one of these houses in ESO and preview them, tell you what I like, what I don't, and should you invest your time, money, in getting these suckers. Thanks for watching.